hello guys as was promised i am presenting you this brand new vision model from glm family this is glm 4v 9 billion parameter model v stands for vision when we say vision it means that it understands images and we can do inference with the images through text in this video we are going to install this model locally and then we will try it out on our local images i already have covered a chat and text model from glm4 family just like 10 minutes ago you can search it on the channel as you can see it is still premiering uh, so i would highly suggest check this model out this is a text model amazing model on different benchmarks coming back to this glm4 v9 billion model this seems cool too glm4 9 billion is the open source version of the latest generation of pre-trained models in the glm4 series launched by z4 ai in the evaluation data set in cement so th this model has performed really well in semantics maths code reasoning knowledge and glm4 9 billion and its human preference aligned version chat version i mean have shown a lot of performance on a lot of benchmarks talking about this model which is glm 4v model it is based on glm4 9 billion which i just showed you we have already covered and this vision model possesses dialogue capabilities in both Chinese and English at a high resolution of 1120 by 1120 pixels. In various multimodal evaluations, including comprehensive abilities in Chinese and English, perception and reasoning, text recognition or OCR, and chart, chart understanding, GLM 4v9 billion has demonstrated superior performance compared to GPT-4 Turbo of this year. Um, which is amazing and also gemini pro quen real max and claude 3 opus so i'm very excited to check out this model whether these claims are true or not so let's try to go to my local system and get it installed there before i do that allow me to give a huge shout out to our good friends at mast compute who have sponsored this vm virtual machine and the gpu which i'm going to use if you are looking to rent a GPU, I would highly recommend them. I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to put a discount coupon. If you use that, you will get 50% discount on an already discounted GPUs. So, let me take you to my local system. Here, I am running Ubuntu 22.04. And this is my GPU, where, which I am running NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Fingers crossed that this vision model will fit on my GPU. Uh, if not, then well, at least we will discuss it theoretically. But I'm really hoping that it will fit on this GPU uh, and we could be able to test it out. I already have uploaded one image on my hard disk and I will be describing that image. Let me clear the screen. First up, make sure you have Coda installed. It's not mandatory, but it's always a good idea because it ev keeps everything nice and clean and separate let me clear the screen in the next step i would suggest that you create this conda create glm environment where we will be installing and downloading this model vision model i already have this glm um, virtual environment which i created as part of my previous model so i'm just going to activate it by saying conda activate glm that is done let's install some of the prerequisites which we would need as part of that vision model which include torch transformer stick token accelerate and pillow so let's wait for these to get installed hopefully most of them should already be present in my system as part of earlier so you see it was very quick for you it might take a couple of minutes let's clear the screen let me fire up my python interpreter let's import torch pillow and also the transformers that is done because i have device gpu so i'm just mentioning the cuda let's get our vision model and you see that here i am simply specifying glm 4v 9 billion and it has initialized the tokenizer with our glm 4v 9 billion model and then i'm giving it a prompt that describes the image let's also convert the image to rgb and this is the image on my local system for a.png let me quickly show you this image in my browser first there you go this is the image which i am going to ask this model to describe for me if you see there is a tree 
there is a sunset there are three kangaroos uh, and then there are few birds on the top okay let's go back to our terminal so we already have converted the image which is good let's send this text to this tokenizer to convert it into tokens and also apply the chat template that is already done and now let's set this input to our CUDA device that is also done and now it is time to download the model now here you see we are just specifying this vision model and then we are just saying that low cpu mem usage if it goes to cpu and i'm just trusting the remote code from hugging face to true so let me download it so you see that it has started downloading it there are 15 tensors and i think each tensor is around 2 gig so i'm just crossing my fingers that it will fit on my gpu if not then well uh, nothing we can do about it but so let but fingers crossed let's wait for it all the shards are done and it is loading the checkpoint shards and let's cross our fingers this is the a moment if it won't be able to load these shards properly it will give our uh, give the out of memory error here so let's see what happens So you see it seems we are in luck it has loaded the gpu let's specify the inference parameter where we are just specifying the output this much and then this is a sampling and our top k probability parameter that is done let's send both of this image and our text prompt to the model and see if it is model is able to tell us what exactly it saw in the image so just to refresh your memory this was the image let's see if model tells us or not let's wait for it to come back mm, there you go so you see the image captured a serene african savanna at sunset well not african there are no kangaroos in africa but anyway the sky is painted in a gradient of warm colors that is correct on the left hand side of the image there is a solitary tall tree with broad spreading canopy so yep that is correct and then in the foreground three kangaroos are depicted in sill hood yes that is very awesome two of them appear to be in motion with one leaping across the frame can you believe that yes that is true you see that the far one and then above the kangaroos a flock of birds is flying in formation yes that is a formation okay loving it the birds are aligned in a diagonal line and the overall effect of them it is a one of tranquility and natural beauty capturing the a sense of an african sunset amazing amazing model okay now another test let me try to see if it can do the chart one so let me clear the screen and i will show you the chart if, and we'll see if it can um, or maybe we'll do the ocr let me get a image for it okay i have cleared the screen now for the ocr i am going to give it this image which has a lot of characters, dollar sign, numbers, some of the punctuation and other stuff. Even there is a um, tilde on in this A or omlaut, I think something like that. And there are a few other characters too. So let's see if it is able to do the optical character recognition on this image. Let's go back to our terminal. And here, let me paste it. You see, I'm just giving it the OCR here in this line i have given ocr.png and then let's see if it is able to do the ocr let's wait for it to come back there you go it has come back so now look at this it says the image contained a series of sentences in different languages that is correct each describing a fox oh my god that is totally correct so let me take you back yes that is correct and then english the quick brown fox and then it is also giving us a dollar number you see how good is that and then german is this schnell and then there are a few other french italian spanish portuguese amazing and it has identified that i think this uh, something you know this um, dash on top of a is called as umlaut i think so please correct me if i'm wrong so rapido amazing and then it is describing that the sentences are stylistically similar with each describing the fox as a quick and brown and each mentioning an animal it jumps over 
The English sentence also includes a non sequitur about emails, spam, and nonsensical number. That is very true. How good is that? I mean, I think I am speechless. Amazing model. Amazing, amazing model. And I'm not really exaggerating here. So, you know, I think 100 out of 100 marks for it. Let me clear the screen. Let's um, give it, you know, more complex task. The final one. Let's clear the screen and let me show you the next image which I'm going to show this model. So this is a handwriting. So there is a first two pages, something like that. So I've just divided it into this. So let's see um, what model does with this. So let me grab the code. I already have uploaded it locally. And I'm going to take you back to the terminal where I'm going to paste this. So this is where you see the image is handwritten.jpg so let's see what model does with this let's wait for it to come back there you go so it says the image is humorous take on handwriting and exam divided into three sections so if we go back you see there were three sections that is totally correct let's go back and then it says so labeled first two pages middle pages and letters here each section contains a sample of handwriting on what appears to be lined in notebook paper. Oh my God. Yep, that is true. It's a lined notebook. And the handwriting in the middle page is also clear, but shows a slight decrease in legibility compared to the first section. The handwriting on the last two pages drastically deteriorates. Amazing. And the hum it says the humor lies in the relativity of situation for many who have experienced similar challenge during exam and the overall trend suggests that handwriting quality worsens as the exam progresses which is common experience and i'll be very honest with you i never thought about it that this it this means um this thing but you know it has found an element of humor in this amazing amazing stuff i think i'm i don't know uh, what are you thinking but i think i this is one of the best vision model i have seen this year and i have seen a lot so that's it guys uh, let me know what do you think i will drop the link to this model in video description um i don't know where to give it five or ten stars amazing stuff i hope that you enjoyed it as much as i did let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching